dear students under the topic beta and gamma functions here we have the property 5 already in our previous video lectures we have learned the definitions of beta and gamma functions and also we have seen the four properties under them now here we have property 5 which says that beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma m so let us see the proof now first of all by the definition of beta function we know that beta of m comma n is equal to integral 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 multiplied with 1 minus x power n minus 1 dx for m and n greater than 0 so first step is the is we have to take and write this definition so let us write that now so we have taken and written the definition here so now there is a property under definite integrals which says that integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a and this integral can be written as f of a minus x that is the upper limit minus x dx so if you have a function f of x between the interval 0 to a so if a function is integrated between the interval 0 to a that function can also be written as integral 0 to a f of upper limit minus x dx so we are going to apply this property in our integral where f of x will be taken as x power m minus 1 multiplied with 1 minus x power n minus 1 so this will be considered as f of x so x power m minus 1 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 we observe that the upper limit is 1 so here while comparing with this integral what is the upper limit it is a so the value of a is equal to 1 for this beta function so a is equal to 1 so now we have to substitute this and find the integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx for which we need f of a minus x. So instead of x we have to replace a minus x in this integral. But what is the value of a? a is equal to 1 and so that is equal to f of 1 minus x. So we have to find f of 1 minus x. And we have to substitute here. So what will be f of 1 minus x? It will be equal to. So wherever we have x in this function. We have to replace that x by 1 minus x. So we have x over here. So this x will be replaced as 1 minus x to the power m minus 1. Multiplied with. Here we have 1 minus x. So, but instead of x, we have to replace it by 1 minus x. So, we will be having 1 minus of 1 minus x. And the whole raised to the power n minus 1. So, n minus 1. So, that we have written. So, this will be equal to 1 minus x to the power m minus 1 multiplied with 1. This minus of 1 minus x can be written as minus 1 and minus into minus is plus and then x to the power n minus 1 and we see that this plus 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled and so we will be left out with 1 minus x to the power m minus 1 multiplied with x to the power n minus 1 so therefore f of 1 minus x is equal to this so we have evaluated this now we can replace this beta integral by this one. So we will be getting beta of m comma n to be equal to. So beta of m comma n will be equal to. Now we have to substitute in this integral. So integral 0 to a. What is a? a is equal to 1. So 0 to 1. We have to write f of a minus x. a is 1. So f of 1 minus x will be this so we have to replace it by this value so 1 minus x to the power 
m minus 1 multiplied with x to the power n minus 1 dx. So, rewriting this integral in the form of beta function, we will be having 0 to 1. So, first we will have x to the power n minus 1 multiplied with 1 minus x to the power m minus 1 dx. But we see that this is a beta integral where we have that is here in this m minus instead of m we are having n and instead of n we are having m. So, m and n are flipped. So, this integral is nothing but it is equal to beta of n comma m. And so, therefore, we have proved that beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma m. So, if the parameters are shifted, so instead of m, we write n here and here instead of n, we obtain m. So, therefore, we, we, up, we have proved this property.